We have to go all the way back through two, through one elevator and two biometric scanners that take about 10 minutes each. Because why not? At least we cleared the place again. Just these couple of guys here, apparently. Activating security scan. Okay. Come on. Let's get through this. God, it's a wonder they get anything done here. They have to go through these security scans every single time they want to go through the next hallway. Subject recognized. Access granted. Okay. At least I don't have to worry about the friggin' um robots anymore. Do have to worry about the turrets upstairs, but... Those are easy. I wish there was a way to turn these off. It'd make me feel better if I could turn them off. I don't think there's a way to do it. Activating security scan. All right. Let me go make me so me, me go make myself a sandwich. You know, I'll be back in like about ten minutes when this is done. What do you think? Okay. Subject recognized. No. Access granted. Open these doors yet? I don't think I can. I want to. I'll be back though. I'll be back for. Don't worry. I actually make a hard save here just in case. In case this is like a weird. Like you have to save her or open the door. Hidden combat ammo. Right here. Jensen, it's Keitner. Where are you? In a well-concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun-running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the eye worked then. Good. Now listen, if what you say is true, if Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, there I is. need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex-cop, Jensen. You tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find. Hmm. Also, I noticed there's a, there's a ladder up here. Although I would think it would it would go into the sea at this point. This is a big old button here. It's probably going to be used for something. All right, there's robots. 
I should probably be careful. Oh, it's just these things. Are those pods? Are those people? Or is this the power? Might be the power plant. lady we're gonna we're gonna save you we can Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, I see. These are like I put these things on here. Don't hurt me. Interesting. Anymore. These are what were on the um on the little things I picked up. What's here? So cold. What is this? Oh, I see. What are these though? PCH? Gary, when you get a chance, I receive something on the lab computer that you need to look over. Sign to my account. Hey. I'm sorry. So sorry. Don't G S U L P. Bob Page. I understand your concerns, Tiffany. More than you know, the loss of life is tragic, but in the long run, necessary. We have to keep our eyes on the future. And I'm not talking about 15 to 20 years. The project is of the utmost importance to the immediate future. So Monitoring Omega requires extreme amounts of computational power. And heaven is almost set to open to the public. And then there are geothermal stations. Only the OCM even approaches the sheer data crunching capacity needed to run those operations. I know it may seem callous to consider these things ahead of human lives. But these projects will save so many more lives. There are other avenues I'm looking into. Certainly, if we don't see clear-cut improvements coming out of Rifleman Bank, we will terminate the project and pursue another course. I've spoken with Gary about this. I think he agrees, but we have to pull together if we're going to get anywhere. For now, you're right. Absolutely. The numbers we're seeing, the losses are unacceptable. I shudder to think what it would be like without someone like you on the team. Someone who sees the human side of the equation. I know I haven't completely assuaged your concerns. There's no way I could do that without asking you to go against your character and completely ignore your empathy toward these people. What I am asking you to do is stick with us and use that empathy. You're our conscience, Tiffany. We need you. Gary needs you. Please, hang in with us. Love and kisses. Bob Page. And how many times have I asked you to call me Bob, smiley face? Uh, that's that's in response to the situation of rifle banking is unacceptable. I fully understand that we are somewhat responsible to Bell Tower for our continued research in this field, but the means they are using does not justify any successful results we achieve. In fact, I'm not convinced that their ultimate goal is in keeping with what would your, organiza your organization hopes for. At least I would hope not. I've spoken with Gary at length about this, and I believe he is of the same opinion. There must be another way. We are killing people here. Gary Savage. Refugee Kiwi. You there? Are you already landed? No, still in the sub. Any word for your si from your sister? She said she'd be there. Sandra's arrival. Gary, I don't think I can do this anymore. What are you talking about? Don't you know what I'm talking about. Hurt me. Get back anymore. before you know it. If I can convince Bob that this is a dead end. What's happening here is... He's a monster, Gary. It, it is a dead end, and even if it isn't, nothing is worth what we're doing to these women. 
I wish we'd never joined with VL. This isn't what I signed up for. Tiff, this isn't Bob's doing. We were sent in to clean up the project. It can't be done. You think they'll really can it? <laughs> they will if you find an alternative. Reed or Nano? You know the one I think has the most potential. Just hang in there a little longer. No grand gestures. Yes, boss. Is this, like, supposed to be a winky face? Workstation 25. Tiffany! I am about to send a supply requisition to VL for the next series of tests. Also be leaving the base for the next few days. Trying to bed heads. I've seen that one before. Jesus, Tiffany. Jesus! What is this in response to? Uh, Jerry, I know I said I'd never clicked on that favor, but I really need your help. You've been at BT for a few years. What are the chances of getting your hands on someone's personal f personnel files? So specifically, Peter Burke. This is asking a lot, but you know me. I would never ask if it wasn't absolutely necessary. Jesus! No, you introduced me to Kathy, but I could get in a lot of trouble for even looking at these records, let alone Don't sending them to you. Please delete and forget this once you've had a look. Anymore. Not sure how much help it'll be anyway. Looks like it's been altered for consumption. By who, I couldn't tell you. Who is this guy? Some kind of spook? So BT Dub, who are you? Any chance we can get all to get 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 together soon? All to get 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 get. The hands have been asking about. It. Kids have been asking about Aunt, Aunt Fanny. Uh, West Point Academy. Dishonorable discharge. Seems to exhibit fairly sexist tendencies, apparently. Artificial skeletal cranial remodeling. Doesn't really help us that much. Can I do anything else with these um, info things that I got? Oh, look, I can put it right here. Achievement unlocked, the learned scholar. Also, I just now noticed that there's a person right there. <laughs> Synthetic thought, the human AI, I think we've already also uh, seen. Um, we'll, look, we'll talk to this person in a minute. That's Tiffany. Tiff. Heaven to open to all. Page Industries has sped up its plans to build the first permanent commercial space station named Heaven. The orbital, trans the orbital resort, say, will accommodate 12,000 people and offer many five-star restaurants and hotels. Expected cost for a night to say 100,000 credits. Expensive. Biotech industry leaders to debate ethics. The International Panel on Biotechnology and Ethics in Scientific Research. God has announced plans to convene early next year, specifically to discuss the issue of future of mechanical augmentation. Specific objectives of the panel will be threefold, stated Christian Hoog. Hoog. Uh, chairman of the Ghent University Bioethics Institute and head of the IPBESR's steering committee. First, to hold an honest and open debate on current practices related to neuroprosthetic research. Second, provide thorough, forward-looking analyses into the future of the human-machine interface. And third, to evaluate current trends and emerging studies into the less invasive augmented, augmentation, augmentation technologies. I, I, I'm, it's, it's getting late, guys. Come on. The uh, ISIS is a announcement comes uh, on the heels of growing public outcry over augmentation recalls and calls for a United Nations sponsored vote on industry regulation. Nice. So what do you think this is? I guess we'll find out in a minute. Nano Augmentation Pipe Dream or Theory of for the Future by, of course, who else writes anything in this world other than Hugh Darrow? Of Tiffany, please, I'm trying to read this. Test subject. We've been throwing around the word nanotechnology for decades. Uh, the enhanced beings, post humans who are progeny, will look at mechanical devices, we will be bolted onto our living flesh and buried inside our gray matter, and they will mock us for our crudity. I think we might have read this one too. Nanotechnology. It's it's the future. According Access to Commander Burke, nice. initial field tests are positive. Operatives report function within expected parameters. Quite the house of horrors you got here, Doc. What up? You letting anyone in, or just women? Who are you? How'd you get down here? This is a restricted area. Obviously. You wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, 
You, you don't understand. I'm not... Where's Burke? And your research partner, Savage? But Burke went back up to the base. And Gary... Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut, and do whatever Burke tells me to do. Uh -huh. For now. For now? I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr. Uh... Kavanagh. And who the fuck are you? The name's Jensen. I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? I I've seen her research. Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant. And by then, by then it was too late. Hmm. OCM. Savage used that term in the morgue. What does it mean? Organic computational matrix. It's a means of cross-connecting living brain tissue and artificial intelligence systems to create a supercomputer of unparalleled capability. Part flesh, part silicon. That's, That's what, what you're mean. doing down here, turning prisoners into computer parts. Human brain activity has to be integrated with the technology, or else it won't work. Even DARPA knew that. Just how many prisoners are being wired into this thing? I... I don't know. But a lot of them don't seem to survive for more than a year. I've told the others there's no way this project can stay viable with these kinds of numbers. But the OCM computers have to have them to work. Computers? You mean there's more than one of them? There's... several. This is just where the process starts. The factory floor. We select the candidates here, implant them, and ship them to the other locations. It's all very efficient. Yeah, I'm if sure. the candidates keep dying. What does DARPA have to do with this? Nothing. Not directly. In 2007, they started looking for research partners to help develop an artificial cognitive science program that could increase a soldier's situational awareness in the field. A number of private sector companies submitted proposals. Bell Tower being one of them. No. Bell Tower was a private military corporation. DARPA wanted researchers. But one of the companies who did submit something was a biotech corporation that deals with Bell Tower. And they believed a successful program could be designed if it could be wired directly into the soldiers' brains. DARPA wasn't willing to go that far. So this biotech company took the idea to Bell Tower. A corporation that being privately funded, doesn't have to concern itself with political or ethical debate. Hmm. You seem to think Megan's research is integral to salvaging this project of yours. Why? It's not my project. Had I known before I came here... Right, just answer the question. <sighs> We're experiencing cross-systemic failures with the tech. Over time, subjects implanted with OCM augmentations suffer complete neurological breakdown. They... They pretty much burn up from the inside. Gary thinks it's a problem with the acceptance of the P-dot array. I've heard that phrase before. It's the building block of modern neuro-augmentations. Dr. Reed's been reshaping it, changing the way it bonds with living tissue. The mutagenic gene combination she's introduced into it, well, frankly, it's astonishing. Enough Very animated talker. Kidnapping. So she'd be forced to work on this project with you? She's not on this project. I don't know what she's doing or where she is. This is the first time anyone's ever mentioned kidnapping. You're really gonna stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were gonna make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I can't! There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really gonna do this? <laughs> you... You can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. But keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. 
while you gather as much evidence as you can carry. Oh my god. I'm really gonna do this. Damn yep. right you are. Now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. All right. Fine. But Mr. Jensen, please, hurry. Okay. I'll hurry, but I'll also look around for loot as well. So that's what I do. All right. Well, I wish that I could help that woman, but I don't think that I can. Um, I don't really want to kill her. So sorry. Don't hurt me anymore. I don't think there's anything that I can do for her. Um, actually, I think I'm going to have to stop here for now. This, uh, this DLC is, is real long. It's real long DLC, which is fine. Didn't think I was going to, uh, be spending so much time on it. Part of it is, of course, this, the friggin' the two side quests that, uh, took absolutely forever to do. Um... But I mean, I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm liking the the more of the um, connections to to Deus Ex, uh, uh, Gary, you know, Gary motherfucking Savage and uh, and Tiffany. Versa Life mentioned as well. 